If any of you out there have ever considered developing or building your own website, then you've probably looked into different web hosting services. Now it's no secret that when it comes to web hosting, Hostinger is absolutely the cheapest option available. In fact, compared to all of the other companies out there, none of them even come close. And in most cases, other basic plans can be up to five times as expensive as Hostinger. Now I know what you're thinking, at that price, is it actually a great service or are you getting what you pay for? There's a lot of things that you should be looking for in a hosting service. Things like fast loading speeds, about actually being able to reach your site when you need to, and also knowing that your personal data is going to be secure and protected. So the big question is, does Hostinger actually provide that? So today I'm going to be taking a deep dive into Hostinger, going over some of the features and benefits, and letting you know what I recommend depending on your situation. And don't worry, I'll include links to Hostinger down in the description below, along with any deals, discounts, or coupon codes that may not be available on their website. So feel free to take advantage of that if you like. So what is web hosting? Well, basically a hosting provider allocates space on a web server for a website to store its files. They are thereby hosting a website. This can be things like the website code or images, anything that's available for viewing online. Basically every website you've ever visited is hosted on a server. So if you wanna develop your own website and create your own content online, you're gonna to have to use one of these hosting websites. We've done a lot of testing where Hostinger is concerned. And so today we're gonna to be breaking down some of those results. Now, starting off, when you look at that price for Hostinger, you might be concerned that you're going to be lacking in two key areas, and that's features and performance. Obviously, if you're going to be paying one-fifth of what the competitors charge, you might be thinking, well, am I going to be getting one-fifth of the features? Well, I can tell you with confidence that that wasn't the case at all. Basically, everything I needed to build my website from scratch was available on Hostinger's plan. It had ample resources and also performance boosting tools. They do offer three different plans. You can get single, premium, and business, and all three work on top of Hostinger's very own control panel. It has super easy installation of WordPress, and it has dozens of other content management systems. If you're just looking for a basic plan, it's also a great option. It comes with 10 gigs of space, 100 gigs of bandwidth, one email account, and support for a single website. So really, if you're looking to start small, that's a ton of options for you to really build something respectable online. As far as the other plans are concerned, they come with unlimited bandwidth, unlimited email accounts, and unlimited websites. So there's a few extra perks that the single plan doesn't allow you access to. These plans also have SSH access and unlimited databases. Also just note the one critical feature that the basic plan does lack is the automatic daily backups. So you're gonna have to perform those backups manually or purchase the service as a separate add-on. Also, if you're really not up to speed with coding, uh, you should also note that Hostinger does have a drag and drop website builder, and this is called Zyro, but it won't be available as part of the hosting plan. So you will have to purchase that separately. Now, as I mentioned, Hostinger has developed its own proprietary control panel, and that's called HPanel. And so that means you won't be getting to play with the beloved C panel that you already know and love. But as far as HPanel is concerned, you'll find it equipped with lots of goodies. It has easy installation and DNS zones configurations to email accounts, a file manager, and my SLQ database. And it's all very similar to what cPanel does offer. But there are a few major differences. For instance, the auto installations in cPanel are done with Softaculous, which comes with some added benefits as well, like allowing you to clone your site, setting up a staging version, and also configuring a backup schedule. Now, HPanel's auto installer is great for installing WordPress, but it does have some of those useful extras. Also, some of the more advanced features that you might be interested in, like email features, mailing lists, filters, and routings, those are also missing from HPanel. So if that's something that you really depend on, then this might not be a great option for you. But again, for those of you just starting out, there's going to be tons of features to make sure that your website is looking great. Now, as far as the web server technology that Hostinger uses, they go with Lightspeed, and it consistently ranks as one of the fastest and most reliable web servers, outperforming older technology like the Apache technology that GoDaddy uses. Also, what's really great is you don't have to do anything to configure it. You're going to get that top-notch performance automatically. But one thing you definitely want to activate is Lightspeed's caching function, and this is known as LS Cache. Basically, you just turn on the automatic cache option, and cached copies of your page will be created, and that significantly cuts down delivery times to visitors. To make sure that your website is very safe and secure for all of your visitors' data, you will need to get an SSL certificate. Now, Hostinger provides an SSL with all of its plans. This does change now and then, but at the time of our testing, the SSL was included. So if that's important to you, and it should be, you should definitely double check that the SSL is included with your plan. Although if it's not, you can purchase one as a separate add-on, but like I said, that shouldn't be an issue. 
Now you might be wondering how Hostinger can afford this service at such a low price. Well, although they do have a fantastic interface and user journey literally from sign up to using and managing your hosting, Hostinger's business strategy does rely on pushing you to upgrade and purchase all of those extras. So you're gonna get a lot of ads, a lot of pop-ups encouraging you to upgrade to a better plan. And that could be annoying at best and confusing at worst. But the plans are clearly laid out and all they ask for a sign up is your name, an email address, and a password. If you use WordPress, it's gonna be super easy for you once you install Hostinger. It actually gives you the option to automatically install it as part of the sign up process. So we've talked about getting your website online, but from then you'll start to use HPanel to make edits and changes to your hosting. So how does it compare with cPanel? Well, in fact, it's downright easier. HPanel icons are bigger, it's better organized, the interface isn't as cluttered with extra options that you'll never use, and it has integration with Hostinger's other services, support, purchasing extras, viewing billing, it's all super easy and super seamless. It's not perfect because sometimes your workflow will be hurt by those upsell pop-up ads that I mentioned, but that's merely a slight inconvenience compared with the price. Now as far as speed and performance is concerned, Hostinger was hands down the fastest shared service hosting site that we tested it has actually exceeded every other shared host. That includes major sites like SiteGround, FastComment, and InMotion Hosting. The only two hosts that did better, and that was by a small margin, were the premium Liquid Web Nexus and Kinsta. And those cost about 20 times more than Hostinger. And if you're looking for specifics on just how fast it is, Hostinger showed a very promising average load time of about 1.56 seconds, with the best recorded time being one second, and the slowest being 1.9 second. Now this is well below the three second mark that a lot of these hosting services produce. And don't worry if you're not located in the US, with our testing from places all across the world, we still saw significantly increased speed compared to some other web hosting. So you're gonna get great performance no matter where in the world you are. Now another issue with hosting services is you wanna take a look at the host's uptime, meaning you wanna make sure that the website has high availability. Well, in our testing, it was almost perfect with a 99.997%. So that's gonna be fantastic. It means that your website is gonna be available almost 100% of the time. Now, one thing to note that it doesn't have the best service. It is 24 seven and it's manned by professionals, but sometimes they took about 40 minutes to get back to you. And sometimes the live chat isn't even available and you're transferred to a ticket slash email system. So that means it's gonna be up to you to solve most of your problems in a pinch. But luckily there's a ton of resources online and you should be able to find the answers you're looking for way faster than waiting for a service technician. So as I mentioned, Hostinger is the cheapest option available. Honestly, it's insane that you're paying literally a fifth of the price of some of its competitors. And part of the reason that this is so low is because Hostinger wants you to sign up for long periods of time and they give you incentives to do so. They have four payment periods and that would be monthly, yearly, bi-yearly, and quadrennially. And that last one means four years, which is insane because no other hosting site allows you to do that. So what does that mean? Well, basically in order to get the best price, you're gonna have to sign up for that four year plan. That's right, Hostinger wants to make sure that you're committed to them for an obnoxiously long period of time. But that being said, over the course of those four years, you're going to pay significantly less than some of the other web hosting services. So guys, the bottom line here is Hostinger is very affordable, it has great features and performance, and it is definitely worth your time. It's not perfect, there are a few things that we mentioned, but overall, you're not gonna be able to find a quality web hosting service like Hostinger at this price point. You're just not. And again, I'll put links to Hostinger down in the description below, and I'll include any of those deals or discounts that I can find that might not be available on their website. So feel free to take advantage of those if you like. But otherwise, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. That would be appreciated. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below, as I'm committed to getting to answer as many of your questions as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.